So one of the things I quite often come across uh, in the courses I teach is people wanting to rotate letters individually. They maybe have a whole word here, but they want to rotate one letter individually. And if you look at something like this, you may want to spin the letter H separate from the rest of the word. Now, when it's text in there, and if you drill into here, you can go into transform, for example, there, you can rotate the text. But what that's doing is it's rotating the entire word um, around that keyframe. So we'll just set that back to zero down there and leave it at zero. And you can see under text, there aren't any options in there really to rotate the individual letters in here, which obviously restricts your ability a little bit there. But what we can do is if we select this, we can go to the layer menu up here and down under create, we have the ability to create shapes from text. Now, if I do that and create shapes from text, what that does is it hides the text layer and it creates a whole new layer of shapes here. It's a shape layer and within there, you can see the contents of the shape layer. So you've now got the individual letters appearing in there and I can expand letter H here and I've got transform properties for letter H here. And I can even rotate letter H here. Now at the moment, it's still rotating around the anchor point. Let me just set that back to zero again. So it's rotating around the anchor point, which is over in the middle here. But if I get that anchor point tool, I can drag this across, pop it somewhere in the middle of the letter H there. And if I want to rotate it now, you'll see it's now rotating the letter H around by itself. So I've got the ability to, for example, to keyframe that. I could go in there and say, right, we'll set that to zero at that point. Turn on keyframing for rotation. So it records the property of zero at that point. I've actually got one full rotation there. It should be zero there. Set that back to zero. Let's move the playhead across to three seconds. And at three seconds, we'll have done two full rotations. So I'll click in there. So we've got two times zero. That gives me two full rotations. So when I play that back, the letter H now rotates twice over that two second period. And that's a double spin around that rotation there. Hopefully that helps you. And if you liked it, don't forget to leave us a like. Thanks.